Cryo Drive, Smart Sense, or FOC, Smart Technology? That is the question. <laughs> I want to thank Horizon for sponsoring this video today because it's all about the FOC smart technology they had sent me and thank you to Isaac thank you so much so they sent me this combo this is the 2100 kV crawler combo and this is the smart 60 ESC, this is brushless setup, okay, and it's censored. So, <clears throat> this is a 2800 kV brushless censored motor. And what the thing is, I'm going to test is will this 2100 kV censored motor with this uh, 60 amp brushless ESC be sufficient enough? for the riff a rock racer slash bouncer or because this 2800 kV censored brushless motor is actually meant for the uh, rock racer slash bouncer and it's also a crawler motor you can also get this in a combo with the 60 amp ESC but right now it's on back order and on the horizon website so they sent me this separately so i'm gonna see if this one is sufficient enough and we're gonna see we're gonna test it out you're gonna go along with this journey with me to test out this electronics now will this 2100 kv be good enough or will i go uh higher up this 2800 kv uh, give you more power, give you more oomph, give you more zap, okay? So, <clears throat> when you get this combo set up, you're going to want, if you don't already have, you're going to want this V2, the Spectrum Smart ESC Programmer V2, okay? Now, <clears throat> not only does this thing program this ESC and other ESCs, but it also checks your battery, your LiPo, checker it'll also check it to see where your light is at half full three quarters or whatnot <clears throat> and it's also got other you can plug it into your battery to like to uh, power your, your programmer USB over here so that way you can uh, plug it into your laptop or desktop and upgrade your I mean update your programmer and then definitely this is for your ESC when you program the ESC you change the program settings so don't forget this because you'll need it or you'll be running on factory settings and you might not like it you'll be like oh man this is spunk this thing is not good oh STP Ridgeline said this would be yeah you have to set it up for your liking for your drive style so don't forget this okay so today like I said I'm gonna go be testing this out. I'm gonna install this, and you'll see an already installed video. I'm not gonna do a hyperlapse video because there's you know no sense. I'm gonna show you it installed. I'm gonna show you what I did to the spur and pinion gear change on it also, and uh, we'll go through that all that in this little journey of this combo setup. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Horizon Special Shout Out, and thank you, Isaac. So, stay tuned. All right, me familiar. This is the close-up view of what I'm installing this crawler setup, 2100 kV sensor motor and ESC combo crawler system. Now, I know this is for a 1 10th crawler system. It's a 60 amp brushless ESC motor and i'm putting this installing this in the rift so this is the rift transmission and it has a little micro servo mini servo for the uh, high and low first and second so 
I know that this is for the crawler system, 2100 kV, but I want to do it for my test purposes. This motor, if it will work on the rift, that's fine without overheating, stalling out, or anything like that. Now, this motor right here, 2800 kV, this is meant for the rock racers and rock bouncers slash crawling. So I'm gonna test this one first, the 2100 kV, um, the rift. So, but what I did, if you take a look here, this is a nine tooth pinion, okay? It's a nine tooth pinion. And I took out the big metal gear and I am installing this little flange bearing if that's what it's called, a top hat or flange bearing, okay? So what I'm doing it is I'm installing it this way, there's a bearing right there on the inside. So I'm installing it this way where the hat-like bearing, the flange is on the outside, okay? So you see there's a space. There's a space. So it, the other bearing, it's right on the other bearing. So I got these little plates, slipper plates, metal plates. This one is thick. So I'm using these ones instead of this, these clear ones, because these ones are thin. And I put the plate on, because it's, it's got the cutout, see? So take this plate, put this plate on, bam. So now you see the space, it's the, the flange bearings holding that plate. And what I did is, in this RC4 drive setup here, I took this off of their 64 tooth. This is from the RC4 drive. If anybody runs RC4 drive, this is how their setup is and it clamps on, okay? So I took that off the RC4 drive. I got this spur, the 72 Traxxas spur, and I bolted that other half of that plate from the RC4 drive onto this, okay? So this, my slipper, is gonna be onto here. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, that it might work and it might not work, but this is why I am testing it out. So, because the fact that I cannot put a smaller pinion on this, the smallest pinion I could put with the original steel gear was a 17 tooth. And it was barely still reaching. So I probably, you know, so what I did is I sourced out this Traxxas spur gear, 70 tooth, used the RC4 drive little gizmo here for their setup installed it here, put the slipper plate, got that flange bearing, and now I'm putting this on. So, and then I got this flared nut that's serrated, so it'll lock it in right there on the metal piece. Okay, so after I put that on, install this on there, and now my nine tooth pinion, sorry about the, it's perfect perfect mesh I can't get no better than that it's so smooth so let me tighten this up and I'll plug everything in and you can see what I'm talking about and one last thing what I had to do on the cover is I took a Dremel with the sandrum and I sanded you could see it I sanded the inside all the way around Thin it out. You don't want to go too hard. You lightly sand it until you get the right amount of, of excess off. Because then you're going to be burning holes. And so mine is still clear. And now it does the, the big spur gear doesn't even rub. <coughs> so let me plug this in and you can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so I got it all plugged in. Got the battery plugged in. This is testing purposes. This is my 13 milliamp 3S smart battery from Horizon. It's a small video, baby. 
but that's for when I want uh, weight conscious on um, watching the weight on uh, crawling rigs. So let me turn on my rugged. And it's on. Let me turn on the system here. Spectrum receiver, the new Spectrum Combo Firma that Horizon has sponsored this video for. And let's see. Wow. Big difference. Big difference. And that's low. And it's really quiet. I'm barely thro feathering the throttle. And it'll... That's low. Let's see on high. See that? So... I don't want it to go all crazy and I break parts. So, and then I get to creep. Look at that. All right, so let me put this, install this in the truck. I'll just pause it for this section right here because I wanted you guys to know how I did my system and how I did my parts. So let's get back to assembling everything back together. Peace. I did as I already installed it because it took me a minute to, you know, get everything together and it got pretty late. So. I already got the receiver in. I put the sticky tape on top, installed this on top. The shift servos are already installed. And the motor's already installed. So let me put this back together and then we'll get it out for a test run. Bee! Finally got the rift out here at the lake with the new combo setup from Horizon which they sponsored this video for and I'm testing it out in my Rift. So this is low gear. That's low. And this is high. For 2100 kV, this this is actually pretty well, pretty good. Let's see how it does crawling. <sighs> Minus the stock tires and I think these tires are still doable. I mean, let's see. Ooh, what the shenanigans? Dang, yeah, look at this. This is really good. I really love this setup. Wow, that is amazing. Uh. This thing is pretty capable, little truck. Let's see how the, we put it in high. And then we give it a little. Ooh, shenanigans. Yeah, that was a wild one. Let's put it back in low. Oh man, look at that. FOC at work right there. That is amazing. Wow. On par, I think, how I feel about this. It's on par to me with the Axe system, the first edition that came out with the Red Cat. Because I have that system and I drive that system a lot. So, but this is a 2100 KV and the Axe system that comes in the Red Cat is a 2300. But remember now, I also have a 2800 motor that will also pair with this ESC, so yet yet to be 
gonna test it also. So let's see if it'll still crawl and hide. I mean, I probably wouldn't advise it. I mean, cause then we're talking about heating issues, but it'll still crawl in high. Nice. That is nice. Oof. This two and one, two, two, not two and one, this, this combo with the ESEM motor, I really like it. Wow. And you still get, you still get punched. You have to do the settings, so, but. Ouch. Look at that. Hey, what's going on, me familia? Thank you for tuning in to STP Cell Truck Performance. I am Ridgeline, and I'm here today with 559 Crawler, Lonzo. What's, what's up, up Lonzo? What's up, buddy? So today I am finishing off this video with the Rift. And today, Lonzo, my battle buddy here, is going to drive it. And tell me what he thinks, because I put that combo in there from Spectrum from Horizon, who sponsored this video for me. And thank you, Isaac, also shot out and uh, I think it drives really good. Give me your impressions of it, Lonzo. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
What do you think about the... Because it's a crawler combo. Right. I'm not familiar with uh, it's the wrist. Right. Um, so it does crawl really well and it also bashes. So yeah. whatever combo you have in there is really working right now. Okay. Awesome. Hopefully, and there's a high and low. Right now you have it in low and you can put it in high. And don't be, don't be afraid to drive it because it won't be my first time repairing it. <laughs> It's a it's a big difference uh, driving it uh, driving the rift to virtually like a scale crawler. Right. right. I mean, it's it's in its a whole other category. Right. Uh, but I think it's great. I mean, especially for, like those ultra runs that people do. Right. Like at Pro Line and Axial. Right. Uh, and I can also see like a, a new uh, someone who's new to just RCs in general right. kind of get best of both worlds. Nice. So. Nice. I see its uh, value in its place. Awesome. So, what do you give the rating of this set, this uh, setup and this uh, rig? Uh, so, I'm not really used to driving anything like this, but I would say, I mean, I'm not having any issues with it, so I would say it's probably uh, maybe an eight. God, that's your honest opinion, right? Yeah. Well, I okay. I have nothing to judge it to put it up against. Oh, so, gotcha. You know, so I'm not gonna say it's a ten because I don't know. No. But okay. I think an eight. It's a solid score. Well, that's good for me. Shoot. Yeah. So, I mean, thank you guys for tuning in to STP Scale Trail Performance. Um, if you stayed this long into the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, tune in for more uh, future running vids. And I love you guys, and I'm out. I want to be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain. Assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate.